Hi guys, it's me Andrea. I will show you at ATCs again today. Um, I'm a member in a Facebook group called Studio ABC and we have a monthly swap. We get paired by the administrator and this month I'm paired with Kimberly Kirk and um, the ATC is already on its way and hers as well so I will show, the, show you the video and um, I've done some of this uh, or one of this uh, neon color ATC before because I said I am so much into this neon co neon colors at the moment because of th spring I think so it's a spring thing so I uh, put some uh, paint on it it was already colorized and I cleaned something up with it and now I have this mark making tool here put some white and black dots and for the embellishment I die cut some of these flowers out normal paper cardboard and I had to gesso on top and then I use some paint I use red acrylic paint and pink and I will layer these um, petals on top of each other and I will uh, have a set of, uh, or I will have pink ones and red ones, a bit of edging here with a black pen. And then I will layer them on top of each other, a bit off center, as you can see me doing here. And that way, and I will glue them down. That gives them more depth, you know, when you put them all exactly on top of each other. I found that a bit boring. So that's why I do this. And that goes then on the card. I'm not exactly sure how and where. I think I will use it here. It's a bit lighter for the background. Didn't stand out enough on the other one. So for the other card I will uh, use some different cutouts. First um, I put some pink on it, but I think I will have them in all in red. I think I can't. Yeah, I will um, completely. I can't remember actually. Sorry. No, they will be completely red. Yeah, because I needed a stronger background or a stronger contrast for that darker background. I etch them as well. To get rid of this wide edges it gives this stuff far more depth so and then for the stems i use some stuff laying around leftovers you know what you have always laying around that was in this green i looked for something green and um, cut it out very simple so wanted to have one to the other side and I will put them down like this, exactly. So and I will glue that down and these little round things are going on that one as petals or as leaves, not petals, sorry, as leaves. And for the other one, I cut some simple shaped leaves out of this leftover paper as well from this cardboard leftover. So, and I will glue them down in this way. Pretty pleased with it. And um, I will assemble everything and the other one as well. I really like, at first I thought I, I wouldn't like this green cutout stuff, but I'm quite pleased looking at it now. I'm really pleased with um, what it looks like with this um, leftover cardboard. So I etch uh, here with black marker again and start now to shade and for that I scribbled some black pig pen big, big brush here on my craft mat and pick it up with my water tank brush so I have this way much better control and um, not starting too dark I can always get darker to scribble more on it and, and pick it up so but um, you know when you have it too dark on it's difficult to get rid of it again so that's why I much prefer to start very light and then go darker and darker and I do pretty much the same to the other one 
in the same way. And I go around all my shapes here with uh, a fine liner pit pen to give it a bit of an edge. But then I only go in with my Posca in Y to give it some highlights here and there on that petals and um, on all the other stuff, of course, to bring it to life, you know, that it has more dimension. That's what your stuff needs, some shades, some highlights. So, and for the words, I use these stickers from Tim Holtz. And on one is uh, spring is in the air, and the other one I had to put words, two words together, enjoy spring. Because the theme of our swap this month is spring. Simple as that. And um, it's always nice to have some flowers, isn't it? So and I always like to um, finish stuff like that off with my um, varnish that's from Liquitex. A gloss varnish it gives it a nice little a really nice shine and a nice finish so and it seals it off that's the point and that's what I want to show you how I um, or what I do for the reverse I write down um, how many I made one of two two of two and the theme and it's for the uh, swap studio ABC then I have my sticker on it with all my links and details and of course um, I date it I have my date stamp and I sign it and to make yeah just that it gets my signature it's made by me and that's it so you will see a close-up come in it's here and that's it I really like them so the colors are so fresh and I oh, really like it and you can see here the varnish gives it a really nice shine okay that's it um, I thank you a lot for watching guys if you like it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment even it's really appreciated I like to read them and thanks again for watching I wish you a fantastic time guys Bye-bye.